So what do we know about these things? These things are triangles. So if I tell you 60, 60, 60, and this side is 2, the opposite side of equal angles will also be equal. The rule is equal angles have equal opposite sides. So if this is 5 and this is 5, the side opposite the angle, there's 70. So this has got to be 70 also. So that's, that's the first rule. Equal angles have equal opposite sides. The sides opposite the angles will be equal. This also builds on something that we called all angles add up to 180. So if you see a 45 and a 45, and one of the fives is given, you can say, well, there's the opposite side has to be equal. And because 45 and 45 add up to be 90, and we know 180 minus 90, this must be a right angle. So that's another principle we came up with. Based on this, this rule, if the opposite side is 2, then this opposite side has to be 2, and this opposite side has to be 2. Because we divided this, this is a vertical, each of these sides is 1. So we come up with a very important triangle. If this side is 1, then this side has to be 2. We see that right here. Now, using Pythagoras, we can find out that this is root 3. We found that out because A, B, and C. A and B. So it's going to be 1. That's a 2 there, so that's the 2 squared. Now we've got x squared equals 3, so you do the root of each one, you get x equals root 3. So we have this wonderful pattern of 1, 2, 3. That's how you're going to remember it. One, two, three. Longest, shortest, oh, sorry, shortest, longest, and the middle. One, two, three. The addition that we came up with was that here's the shortest, here's the longest. So what's this one? The rule is the side opposite, the 60 degrees, is always a multiple of root three. Root three times the shortest side. Thank you for watching.